On the floor, with dozens of other masterpieces from the likes of Monet and Hicks, there is another masterwork, circa 1724, from the artist known as Canalito, a painting getting second looks from even fourth grade critics. I thought it was interesting that they found it in st a storage closet. This work entered the collection as a studio of Canaletto, which means it was believed to have been done by assistants of the artist. Thought to have been painted by students of the artist, only the keen eye of a curator knew this was more than just a discolored, coated in grime canvas of someone Canaletto used to know. It jumps that the quality of it was more than just an assistant. The painting of St. Mark's Square with a huge clock tower and gondolas in the water was sent to experts who took years determining that indeed the painting was one of the artist's earliest undocumented works. It w had gone through a number of uh, previous restoration treatments and was starting to show its age. Experts saying it looked as if it was caked with 50 years of Marlboro smoke. What we were looking at was uh, a very dark, overall a very darkened surface coating, which was the varnish. This picture view style painting was how visitors took home photos of sort of Venice. This is how uh, images were disseminated around the world. This Canalito lover has been to St. Mark's Square. I'm always touched upon his beautiful representational work that was usually painted for the visitors to Venice to carry with them. And now, one of Canalito's many views of Venice is here in Denver for all to see. At the Denver Art Museum, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.